it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today we're going to be doing the Essie Spring Collection nail polish review. I have just the mini set for you so I'm going to tell you about each individual shade and I'm going to talk just in general about the overall collection. So each of these shades I felt was extremely consistent. So the whole line was two coat formulas, they're all creams and I felt the formulas are really decent. I feel like when you put them on they kind of even out, they're not too thick, they're not too thin, um, and so you really have easy application with these shades. So that is really great, I think that's good to have consistency with the collection. But let's go ahead and get into each individual shade. Okay guys, so if we take a closer look up here, we have a nude shade that is called High Class Affair. We then have Lounge Lover. This orange one is called Sunshine State of Mind. And then this dark green is called Off Tropic. Okay guys, so first up, let's talk about High Class Affair. Now this is a very, to me, nudie peach cream shade. I like how it looks on my nails. I think it actually has a really nice, again, consistency. Some nudes are just not going to work for my skin tone, but this one I think actually will be really, really nice. Again, these are all two quote formulas and this one is what it looks like on the swatch wheel. So let's talk dupes for High Class Affair. Now if you guys remember from last year's collection, there was a shade that's called Perennial Chic that came out in 2015. So here they are, High Class Affair is on the right, Perennial Chic is on the left. You can kind of see that Perennial Chic leans slightly more brown nude and High Class Affair leans slightly more peachy pink nude. So while they are extremely, extremely similar, there is just a slight difference in color and I think you can see that on the swatch wheel a little bit better. Again, High Class Affair and Perennial Chic. So super close. I definitely don't think you need both because they are so, so similar nudes, but just so that you're aware. Okay guys, next up is Lounge Lover, and this is a really interesting little dusty pink peach cream. Now again, I don't really have anything exactly this shade in my collection. Um, I think it's a pretty standard color though, I don't think that it's anything too crazy out there. You might have something very similar to this in your collection already. And then next up is Sunshine State of Mind, which is a dusty orange cream and this is what it looks like. It comes very off very bright on camera. Um, and it is somewhat of an orange, and it's kind of funny because Sunshine State of Mind, when I hear that, I think of Florida, which is the sunshine, sunshine state. So I think of the sun and I think of orange when I think of this, so it definitely was, I think, a well-named polish for the collection. And again, I don't really have anything extremely similar to this particular orange cream, but here it is on the swatch wheel. Now the next one at first, I really was not sure why they included this in a spring collection because to me this shade, which is off tropic, is a very holiday hunter grain cream. So it's a beautiful color, I really like it, I just don't understand exactly what it was doing in this collection. And then when I looked at off tropic and sunshine state of mind together, to be honest, this is so weird, but what this reminds me of is the state of Florida license plate because we have a little orange and then we have the state of Florida. So I'll insert a picture, hopefully, if I can find an example of it. But to me, that is kind of springtime or it's actually more summertime um, because it's the land of the sunshine, it's hot, um, I guess we have a lot of greenery, you know, a lot of nice, um, really luscious scenery around that time of year. I don't know, that is where my mind went when I saw these. So while I kind of thought this was odd, to me it kind of makes sense in a weird way because I think Florida when I see these nail polishes together. So this is the shade when it's on two coats of Off Tropic. And I'm just going to apologize for my nails. I know they're like hideous and I did a matte by Zoya, I think it's Brittany, but I did not wait long enough for them to dry and I just, I had to go about my day so I'm going to have to fix it. but. Sorry, they look a little, little nasty. <laughs> okay, but again, I think there is a dupe for Off Tropic. This is OPI Christmas Gone Plaid, which is 
awesome. This is one of my favorite greens that I recently purchased just this past year. It's been out for actually two years though because I think it was a Gwen Stefani collection. So here is what that one looks like, Christmas Gone Plaid next to Off Tropic. So again, they're very, very similar. I almost don't see much of a difference there, um, but I don't think you need both. I think if you have one, you're good to go. So all in all, I'm not thrilled by the colors. Like I, It's not as cohesive as last year's collection. Last year's collection, um, I think it was the Flowerista collection, I loved it. I thought it was a really, all of those were a hit. Now, as far as formula and consistency, these are really nice shades. Um, as far as that goes, they all applied the same. I think they have really good formulas, so Essie's doing a great job on that. I can't say that I was really thrilled by the colors. To me, honestly, I was really most excited by Off Tropic and Sunshine State of Mind just because they remind me of the Florida license plate and Florida in general in the summertime, so that's weird but that's why I like them um, I don't know tell me what you guys think in the comments below did you like any of these did you pick up maybe any others that weren't in the mini set I want to say it wasn't that big of a collection I only think there's a few more but that's my thoughts guys I hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments below what you think and I will see you in my next video bye guys